Here's Bosher to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. An excellent way to start the drive there. 18 yards. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. On first and ten, gone. He's going to loft one deep left side here. That's going to be caught. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Brandon Cooks with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. The Zerline now for the PAT. The Zerline good with a PAT. And we are tied at 21. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. So out come the Falcons now. And these two teams have traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter. So we're right back to where we started at intermission. Yeah, how about that? Tied at the half, tied after the first two drives of the third quarter, one for each. That tells me that someone's defense has got to step up and make a big play and try and change the momentum of this game. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Back now in Los Angeles. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Toss to Freeman. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves his sticks. Another carry for their leader, and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. and 10, it's Ryan. 
He's going to float this one deep right side. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to do, you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle it yourselves. <laughs> well, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Now a toss right, Freeman. Freeman the first down and more. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Get up, so, from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Freeman again. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice game there. Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Freeman, he's been busy today. And he'll get this down only to the 18. It's the Pro Bowl corner, Keep to lead there to stop him. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz, stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. time for a break we'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this one of the bigger plays in the game thus far and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal but they picked up a little bit of yardage there and now in this situation should be in no hurry to run a play really fast let the clock wind down a game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here let's see how they play it on first and goal Freeman. 
And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have broken our tie. Bryant now to tack on the extra point. Bryant tacks on the...